Post-quantum readiness. Again, NIST 838B, which is again, currently in draft. I believe the latest draft was done in December, I think. Um, again, it mentions CBOM, it mentions Cyclone DX, has a few examples. Um, this is an emerging thing, obviously. So I expect NIST uh, MITRE um, um, guidance to evolve along with uh, the specification um, uh, as well. Cryptographic policies. This is really interesting. So the NSA has the standard called CNSA 2.0. Is anybody aware of this standard? Raise your hand. Not many people are outside of the crypto world. Um, so CNSA actually has all the algorithms that should be used or not used um, within any federal government agency or DOD. Um, they have uh, guidelines for what algorithms should be deprecated and when, as well as algorithms that should be end of life and when. So CBOM provides them the transparency necessary to identify those algorithms and with the correct systems in place, you'll be able to track the eventual, um, uh, I guess, uh, down, downward trend of weak algorithms in, in their systems. Expiring, right? Expiring or long cryptographic material, right? If you have something that's going to expire relatively quickly, right? That could lead to potential denial of service, right? Or if you have something that doesn't expire for 10, 20, 30 years, well, that's also kind of a problem, right? You can represent these kinds of information in a CBOM. One thing that I really think is interesting is not only can you specify, hey, this cryptographic algorithm or this library has gone as you know, FIPS 140 uh, certified or whatever, but you can also attest to that particular certification and using formulation, you can describe the precise steps necessary to independently verify that certification is valid. So what does a CBOM look like? Well, it's got a lot of different things. The really great thing about how we kind of design this is that in, in Cyclone DX, just in, in general, is that it's a fairly easy model to kind of understand. Everything for the most part is a component, except the service, because a service is different. But for the most part, everything is a component in Cyclone DX. It could be a hardware component, software component, library, framework. In this case, we have a cryptographic asset. And within cryptographic asset, we can describe algorithms, certificate protocols, and then this grouping of what we call related crypto material. And the reason why we grouped all these things together is because they, they have pretty much the exact same fields, no matter what type of um, crypto material we're talking about. Um, the specification also supports uh, key management uh, life cycles. NIST SP-857 defines these life cycles in key management. Cyclone DX supports that. But more importantly, Cyclone DX also supports life cycles of the bomb itself. This means that you can combine these two concepts to start identifying true risk in your systems. For example, if you have an S-bomb, that is in the build stage, and you know that you are using a cryptographic algorithm that has been compromised, guess what? You can actually prevent the solar wind type of attack, right? This is powerful. Likewise, if you have something in operations and you have a key that has been deactivated, well, guess what? Now you could potentially have a user type of issue or a, a denial of service type of issue. One of the interesting things, if you're familiar with Cyclone DX, we, we have the inventory, but we also have dependency relationships. 
this component depends on this other component, which depends on this other component. Um, we introduced a new concept, provides. So in this case, we've got NGINX depends on Live SSO, which provides TLS. And then we have all the related cryptographic algorithms and uh, primitives and whatnot defined in there as well. So these are very snippets. These are small snips of examples. Uh, the uh, uh, code is right there. Don't want to scan the code. The URL is at the bottom. Uh, these are shorter versions of the full examples that are on GitHub. This particular example is an, is an example of an algorithm that type might be too small. Anyway, this is AES-128 GCM mode. This is an example of a key. Um, it is a um, RSA 2048 key, it's public key. A example of a protocol. And an example of a certificate. The One of the things that we delivered in the last release of Cyclone uh, that, that got pretty good, I guess, reviews was we, we, we came forward with an authoritative guide of SPOM. It's really best practices, right? Suggestions on, on how to do things, what we think is are the correct way, right? Uh, this guide is being updated for the release of 1.6. 1.6 will be available in the next couple of weeks. So release is eminent. Um, we're working on a couple other guides, including a SAS bomb guide and a M bomb guide or manufacturing bill of materials, which is that concept of formulation. However, with the release of 1.6, we're also dropping two new guides. We're dropping an authoritative guide to attestations, which is your ability to attest to requirements of given standards, as well as an authoritative guide to CBOM. Both of those guides will be available in the next couple of weeks. And with that, I'll, I will be quiet. So, a couple years ago, I didn't know about what is mine. Thanks to this gentleman, he kind of brought the industry full report. What's really important about this is everything we do when it comes to programming now, that's fine. <laughs> this is so important. You know, and he had that, that picture with airplanes and cars and Anything in manufacturing, even like a refrigerator or or uh, you know, any appliance. So this is really important. If you're not doing this, okay, start doing it. And you already gave me the team. Hit them up. <laughs> <laughs> I spend a lot of time on Slack as well. So yeah. so this is so important. Um, I can't I can't urge you enough to, to help your companies start. And if you buy something. From someone, they have an S bomb. It's like uh, you need um, a third party attest attestation, you want their S bomb. So. Yeah, the yeah. first question can you tell us how many mm -hmm. developers uh, generate S bomb uh, and is there an OWASP tool which can help them generate? There are lots of OWASP tools that will allow you to generate S bomb. Um, yeah, so if you go to cyclonedx.org, um, if you go to explore tools or getting started and go to Tool Center, or to, either one will take you to the same place. Uh, this has, well, in this case, 220 tools that are available. 220? Yeah, and we, we, stopped, we stopped looking for tools. There's, yeah. there's, these are just the ones that we know of. There's more than that, obviously. Um, but yeah, there's 220 tools. We're in the process of making this easier to find because I mean you can you can look for things based on proprietary, open source, build integration, whatever. Um, this was really designed for when we had like fifty tools. Um, realistically, there's probably over four hundred. So we're actually redesigning our filtering mechanism right now to make this a lot easier to discover the type of tools that you need. I 
volunteers. Um, so within Cyclone DX, we have, um, well, I'll pull it up. We have a lot of different working groups. Um, we have a lot of different maintainers. We have an industry working group. But for all major versions of the standard that have these major features, uh, we will have um, what we call feature working groups or FWGs. And each feature group, uh, once they get done um, essentially ratifying that particular part of the specification, their job's not done. They go on to actually producing the documentation for the specification that they've just written. And then I take that written documentation and then we've got a build system and, and that sort of thing uh, that generates these, these PDF documents um, that, uh, that we distribute on our website. That it? Awesome. Oh, one more. Um, regarding the formulation, will, will it also capture like configuration of yeah. That yeah, Cyclone supports a, a, what we call data components, and a data component can be uh, like a data set, like for machine learning. It could be a, a source code snippet, for example, something you got on Stack Overflow, or it could be configuration or anything else. Yeah. All right. With, oh, one more, last one, last one. Yeah. And if you're shy, yeah. TC54.org. This is where we're standardizing Cyclone package URL and a way to share all this information. Okay.